Hello and welcome to Pleasantville High School. Uh, my name is Joe Palumbo. I am the proud principal here. We are thrilled to have everyone assembled this evening to honor our outstanding students. Before we begin, I'd like to share some quick information. If you look to uh, my left and my right, you'll see emergency exits. You'll also see exits in the back. Uh, in the <coughs> unlikely event that we need to evacuate, just please kind of have some awareness of the space that you're in. Those exits will be utilized. Uh, we appreciate your attention to that. Students, uh, as far as the distribution of warrants goes this evening, we are going to call you up departmentally. Uh, you'll leave you know, where you're seated. You receive your certificates in the cafeteria. You'll assemble here with your class classmates, and then we're going to do a big departmental picture. So we'll have some folks to help you at that moment. Families, if you'd like to get a picture, feel free to do so during that time. We also have Miss Deborah West. Let's give her a round of applause. So we will have some good photos to share with families. Uh, along those lines, I'd like a quick round of applause for Tim Carlo, who's up there as well. <laughs> Tim Carlo will be videotaping this evening's event. What I will do uh, as the week ends is I'll include that in a message that I sent home to families who attended the event this evening so that you can share with folks who maybe weren't able to attend tonight, or if it's just something you'd like to watch at a later date. Uh, if you could please now rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. So tonight's program, tonight's program is a celebration of the amazing accomplishments, talents, and the work that our students do on a daily basis. Students, I know I've said this to you before, I'll say it again. You take a look over your left or your right shoulder, you look at the people that are in the auditorium. Uh, these are the folks that support you. Um, you know, they remember you when you were starting your your career in schools at BRS, or maybe at a different district, you know, somewhere in the country, the region, or maybe in the world. Uh, and nothing you do in life, you know, that's the most important, most significant will be done alone. You know, that network that you have, those people that care for you, those folks who are in your corner, they're so important. So take a look over your shoulder, uh, maybe give them an extra hug tonight. Think about, you know, what they've done to enrich your lives. And uh, certainly, you know, be mindful of the contribution that they made. In terms of our celebration tonight, uh, this, this is not an end, you know, this is part of your journey. The undergraduate award ceremony is a little bit different than the graduate award ceremony and our commencement ceremony that we have, in that there's still work to do. Uh, as I look out into the audience and I think about the accomplished artists and scientists and mathematicians and writers and all the amazing things that you do, uh, certainly I'm excited about the next few years and what that holds for you. Uh, I would encourage you, you know, to embrace you know, the recognition that you're going to have this evening in a positive way. Be a leader and a role model in the community. The world needs leaders, right? And if you look to your left and you look to your right and think about the folks you know, that you're in your class and you've worked with, you know, this is a really strong group. And like I said, I could not be more proud you know, of all of your accomplishments. It's hard to believe, but the school year will be over in a few short weeks. Uh, we've got a Memorial Day uh, celebration this weekend you know, at Memorial Plaza. Consider swinging by. I think Mr. Bracesi, I think the band's involved in some of that. So that's going to be wonderful. Uh, <laughs> and then just a, a few more quick thank yous. Uh, my department chair people, they are leaders in the building and in the community. If you folks could just rise real quick so we can give you a round of applause, that would be great. Thank you so much. custodial staff who work hard to make sure that you have the best possible facilities. Thinking about people like Edwin and Trevor, you know, and our Dynamite team. Um, thank you so much for all that you do. Nicole is, is helping us with security. She's in the back of the building. Nicole, where are you? <laughs> Last but certainly not least, Mr. 
fun. He does a lot of work behind the scenes. Uh, and then finally, before we give up, begin our program, I just want to extend a thank you to this community. Uh, I always tell folks when they ask me if I work here, I say we've got excellent raw materials. So I want to say thank you to the parents, the adults, the children live with at home. You, know, you certainly are extremely supportive. This turnout is fantastic. This has got like shades of pre-2019 in my mind, thinking about having this auditorium full for this type of celebration. And it's a hallmark of an outstanding community that we come out like this to support our students. So thank you so much for that. What I'd like to do now is introduce the department chairperson uh, for our English department, Ms. Daniela DeFranco, who will begin with our English course. Cecilia Amanga, 
Peter Dispenza, Abigail King, Kelly L. B. Primus, Colleen Quadrino, and Samantha Horzowski. For commitment to studies in English 9, we have Kira Sullivan, Ryan Doherty, Juliana Cinziani, Gabriel Sarabando, Pamela Tertoli, Michael Pellin, and Abby Callahan. <laughs> On behalf of the English department, I'd like to congratulate our students for their wonderful achievements in English. Algebra 2 and Trigonometry, Sebastian Nidra, Liam Clancy. 
Country, Asa Nunberg, Catherine Quadrigo. I would like to recognize our students receiving awards in the performing arts. We're going to start out with the band awards, um, freshmen through, through juniors. Freshman Outstanding Achievement in Band, Crawford Gray. Freshman Leadership in Band, Ojaya Algier. Sophomore Outstanding Achievement in Band, Colin Rupsami. <laughs> Sophomore Excellence in Band, Sebastian Vidra. <laughs> Junior Excellence in Band, Tara Trevedi. Junior Leadership in Band, Lev Charco. <laughs> Freshman Excellence in Jazz, two recipients, Martin Blaisdell and Garvin Caizzi. <laughs> Sophomore Outstanding Achievement in Jazz, Alexander Arbucci. Excellence in Jazz and 
those go to Michael Pucci, Aiden Kaizi, and James Owens. This year's Music Theory Award goes to Dylan Sang. Now for our Orchestra Awards, Freshman Outstanding Achievement in Orchestra, Camilla Brown. Freshman Excellence in Orchestra, Tom Lam Nigan. Freshman Leadership in Orchestra, Hanifa Thang. Sophomore Excellence in Orchestra, Dana Bowen. Sophomore Achievement, Outstanding Achievement in Orchestra, Aria Matano. Junior Excellence in Orchestra, Genevieve Agati. Junior Leadership in Orchestra, Katie Budd. Junior Outstanding Achievement in Orchestra, Francis Dougherty. And now for our Theater and Choral Awards. Excellence in Musical Theater, Olivia Hewlett. Theater, Cody Budd. <laughs> Excellence in Stage Management, Katie Moore. <laughs> Outstanding Freshman Choral Performer, Matthew Stangaro. <laughs> Outstanding Freshman Actor, Leah Gregerson. Outstanding sophomore choral performer, again, Olivia Hewling. Outstanding sophomore actor, Colin Rubsan. Outstanding junior choral performer, Eva Bucci. Junior actor, Mackenzie Ennis. And the all around outstanding contributions in performing arts goes to Colin Rubsan. sing a selection from next year's spring musical just came. <laughs>
Outstanding Achievement in Biology, De uh, Daniel Zybert and Jorge Capizuno. <laughs> For Outstanding Achievement in Honors Biology, Sarah Agabov. For Outstanding Achievement in Chemistry, Grant Kelly, Tyler Jealous, Nathan Wood, Benjamin Weike, Joseph Reinhardt, and John Mercatante. For Outstanding Achievement in Honors Chemistry, Dana Ballard. For Outstanding Achievement in AP Physics, Dylan Sang. For Outstanding Achievement in AP Chemistry, Andrew Nessel. For Outstanding Achievement in AP Biology, Ryan Horrigan. Outstanding Achievement in Criminalistics, Nathan Reich. For Outstanding Achievement in Marine Science, Nathan Wood. For Outstanding Achievement in Astronomy, Arshini Portugati. Achievement in Robotics, Jacob White. For Commitment to Studies in AP Biology, Phoebe Cashman and Catherine Moore. For Commitment to Studies in Earth Science, Jay Scalarza Mantilla and Fred DiCarlo III. For a commitment to studies in chemistry, Lev Shargo. For a commitment to studies in honors chemistry, Mitzi Garcia Blasio. For a commitment to studies in science research, Dana Ballin and Genevieve Agati. Entire science department would like to recognize one student for outstanding inquiry in science over their past three years of study, uh, Zoe Kress. today besides lining them up and doing science I'm also going to do the health award so I'm just going there's just two students for health so we're just going to add them to the group and then we shoot the photo again um, on behalf of the health department and Ms. Neumeister I'd like to recognize two students for outstanding achievement in health Ashley Ruan and Jack Sullivan <laughs>
It is now with great pleasure that I introduce the chairperson for the Social Studies Department, Ms. Ricky Saperstein.
innovation and entrepreneurship in the 21st century, Stephen Pettis. Most interested in world affairs in grade nine, Samantha Horbshowski. Most interested in world affairs, grade 10, Colin Ripsaman and Camilla Zapapajaiva. <laughs> Most interested in world affairs, grade 11, Aiden Kaizi. <laughs> Outstanding achievement in journalism, Theo McCourtney. Outstanding Achievement in work, Women and Gender Studies, Phoebe Cashman. <laughs> and sorry, one more commitment to studies in U.S. History 11, Francis Sorority. <laughs> I'd now like to, uh, congratulations guys, and I'd now like to invite Mr. Nemec up for the Big Awards. Oh, wow. 
1 and Advanced Studio Art 2, Camilla Zabikajeva. Jason Freeberg. <laughs> Outstanding Achievement in Ceramics and Sculpture 1, Jack Gorsuch. Achievement <laughs> in Studies in Ceramics and Sculpture 1, Cecilia Lamagna and Mia Morales. <laughs> Outstanding Achievement in Advanced Ceramics, Asa Nutberg and Lucy Rosengart. <laughs>
Nicole Lee. <laughs> Outstanding achievement in Spanish too, Sarah Agabob, Riley DeRozans, Catherine Lent, Clara Shingler, Penelope Ward, and Adam Fossal. <laughs> Dana Balin, Noor Orman, Erica Saldana, and Luke McGarry. <laughs> Outstanding achievement in Spanish for John Vier Agati. Achievement in Spanish 5, Oliver Gibblehouse. <laughs> Commitment to studies in Spanish, Amanda Pujas, <laughs> Angelina Daniel, Charlotte Falco, <laughs> Miriam Gold, Benjamin Belna, Ryan Doherty, Philip Dundee, Riyar Novos, and Daniel In March, our ninth grade and AP students studying French, Italian, and Spanish competed nationally on the language exam competition. This year, we proudly acknowledge the many winners. Please hold your applause until all the languages have been mentioned. Our French bronze medalists are Luke Palowski, Adrian Grunspan, Colette Prevost, and Lindsay Matthews. Oh, yeah. Our silver medalist is Martin Blaisdell. Oh, yeah. Our gold medalists are Camila Brouand, Alexis Bush, and Sophie Nordin. Yeah. Our Italian silver medalists are Mia Morales and Sofia Donahue. Our gold medalist is Cecilia Lamagna. Clements, Catherine Lent, Hank Becker, Nicholas de Giglio, Elizabeth Sapp, Elizabeth Dean, Madeline Perry, Alana Marlowe, and Laura Bochica.
sets of awards this evening, physical education for ninth graders and TV production. First of all, the all-rookie team for physical education, Declan Curry, Norman Kearney, Joe Pecoraro, Jack Gorsuch, Juliana Agati, and Arnie Biswax. This TV production award is awarded to Justin Mancuso. Douglas and Susan B. Anthony Award in Humanities and Social Services. Zoe Crest is also the recipient of that award. The George Eastman Young Leaders Award Program, Clara Nielsen Patch. The Harvard Book Award, Oliver Gemmelhaus. <laughs> the New York State Department of Law Triple C Award. The C's stand for Courage, Commitment, and Character. Samantha Nappy and Stephen Pettis. <laughs> Xerox Award, also for science, Dylan Zhang. <laughs> the Yale University Book Award, Andrew Nessel. <laughs> the New York Blood Center Community Volunteerism Award. There are several. Maggie Carney, Sarah Broge Beeman, Liam Keating, and Patrick O'Keefe.
Springfield College Book Award, Theo McCourtney. And our speech and debate awards, Camilla Zebekajaiba, Josh Lyons, Zachary Nielsen Papish, Clara Nielsen Papish, and Colin Rube Sabin. to the podium, Joe Palumbo, for some closing comments. As I said earlier, we could not be more proud of all that the students have accomplished, and it's not done alone. Thank you to each and every member of the community, members of the Pleasantville High School team, our wonderful community partners, everyone who works to make this possible. Earlier in the program, I referenced Memorial Day, which is on Monday. If you take a look on my right, you see the gold star flag. I feel like it's worth pointing out that that flag represents uh, the number of service people who died in active service uh, from the United States. It's 31. Uh, the Memorial Day weekend is a long weekend, and it's a weekend to remember you know, those individuals who have made the ultimate sacrifice uh, for our country. So I talked about service earlier in our program. When you walk in the building, it's the first thing that you see. Enter to learn, go forth to serve. So uh, think about those, those men and women who sacrificed they made this weekend. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening with your family. But again, congratulations, and uh, see you on Tuesday. Thank you.